So I believe we're two of 11 on third down. And uh, up until that point, we've been pretty good on third down this year. Uh, but obviously that was a, a big part of the game. So going back and looking at uh, what the issues were on third down, a uh, big part of it was six of the 11 uh, were third and 10 or longer. Um, we really put ourselves behind the chains. Uh, we had five tackles for loss and one penalty on first and second down that really put us in those third and long situations, uh, which obviously are uh, more difficult than we had the one opportunity there on the third and short early in the game uh, that we didn't get. Um, so really, yesterday was all about um, you know studying the video uh, as coaches and players, um, finding where the mistakes were, uh, taking ownership in that, and uh, finding ways to get that corrected, and, uh, and then learning from it and moving on. And uh, that's a big part of uh, what we do here. Obviously, we've had a lot of wins, and after all of those wins on Monday, Coach Sweeney comes in with the uh, big windshield uh, picture uh, right there in front of the team in the team room and uh, with a small rear view mirror and a big windshield, and it's always about what's next. Whether you win or lose, uh, you got to learn uh, from the good and the bad and then uh, put your eyes forward and, and move on, and, and that's what we'll do. Um, obviously, an open week gives us an opportunity to really uh, really do two things. Number one, study ourselves, uh, where we are after seven games, the things that uh, maybe we've done well, things we need to uh, improve on, uh, and then also get a head start on Georgia Tech. And uh, that's what we're doing today and uh, the rest of this week. You had five tackles for loss that put you kind of behind the chains a little bit. How do you improve that going forward? Yeah, well, I think the biggest thing is you go look at them individually. How do they happen? And, uh, you know, it really uh, it comes down to maybe one guy on each of those plays, I think. There's one guy not doing his job and uh, having a missed assignment. And so, really, um, you know, as coaches, really just showing the guys how, you know, all it takes is one guy uh, to not be where he's supposed to be. Um, you know, we had that several times. And then, uh, like I said, against him. Defense like that, it's very attacking. It's hard to get uh, behind the chains. Uh, so really, uh, you know, we got to do a good job as coaches, uh, putting our guys in situations where they can execute. And then, you know, the guys obviously got to do a good job of knowing their assignment and executing it. Um, you know, and there's a very fine line. And you see that uh, in that type of game. It wasn't like there was just this, you know, 10 or 12 mistakes. It really came down to about, you know, five to seven plays. And, uh, and that can be the difference. Uh, in those type of games. How do you get the deep ball back? Came from kind of playing that cloud coverage and blitzing yeah. a little bit underneath. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a combination of, um, you know, finding the right uh, spots. And, uh, you know, we had one early where we hit uh, Myron. We were trying to take a deep shot, and they were in cover two. Um, you know, and, uh, ever since maybe Wake Forest, the first drive where we hit Dion on that main coverage, we haven't got a lot of main coverage since then in those last two games. Um, but, you know, we as coaches still can try to find some opportunities. Um, you know, and the other thing is just being patient and taking what they, what they give you. And sometimes that can be frustrating and you want to force the ball down the field. Um, but you got to be smart uh, at times for that as well. What's the mood like right now in, in the locker room and amongst the team as they try to refocus their minds on this bye week? Yeah, well, you know, number one, this group's not used to uh, having a, a uh, Monday after a loss, I think especially uh, a road game. I think only the, the seniors in that room have, have experienced that. Uh, you know, obviously it's disappointing. It stings a little bit and it needs to sting a little bit. If we get to the point where uh, it's okay to lose and that's not a place you want to be and, and definitely not the culture that we want to have. Uh, but I think it's all about uh, having the right perspective and um, really understanding uh, why we lost the game, the, the things we can do to improve it. And you know, the biggest thing Coach Sweeney talks about all the time is you know, all, our, all of our goals are still out in front of us. The only thing that's off the table is, is being undefeated. Uh, but our five goals that we set every year, uh, those are still in front of us. And uh, we've got a lot of uh, big, big opportunities ahead. So let's learn from this.